And a different kind of destruction happening along the Florida Panhandle. Two massive wildfires continue burning through thousands of acres. A state of emergency issued across several counties with thousands of people forced from their homes. Correspondent Kelly Beeson joins us live. And Kelly, those fires actually being fueled by something that happened four years ago. Yeah, you're right, Nicole. Both fires happening in the same area where Hurricane Michael made landfall in 2018. And that hurricane resulted in 16 deaths and about 25 billion in damages. The Florida Forest Service says the hurricane left behind 72 million tons of destroyed trees that have provided fuel for both blazes that are now raging. More than 1,100 people have been evacuated as a result. Dozens of bulldozers have been deployed to plow fire lines to protect property and citizens there as more than 100,000 gallons of water are being dropped from the sky. The Atkins fire has been burning on the east side of Panama City since Friday and has grown to 840 acres. It's now about 35 percent contained. The fire has destroyed at least two structures and damaged at least 12 homes. The Bertha Swamp Fire that originated west of Wewahitchka has spread at least 8,000 acres and is roughly 10 percent contained. And as sustained Sustained winds and dry conditions continue. On Sunday, a third fire developed, forcing the evacuation of a nursing home in Panama City as well. This is a very fluid situation as crews from across the state continue to battle these flames. Nicole. Yeah, they're doing hard work down there. Kelly, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.